Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here? And what we have here, this follows what we have a raised to power n minus n. This same thing as a raised to power n over a raised to power n. That is, yeah, this becomes 4 raised to power x over 4 raised to power 3 equals to 40 on this side. Then, yeah, this is the same thing as 4 raised to power x over 4 raised to power 3. 4 multiplied itself 3 times that's 64. Then equals to, yeah, we can write this as 40 over 1. The next step here, we cross multiply. That is, 4 raised to power x times 1, same thing as 4 raised to power x equals to 40 times 64. That is, yeah. We take the log on both sides. That is here we have log 4 raised to power x equals to log 40 times 64 here. Then next step we apply the power law of log when we have log m raised to power p. This same thing as p log m. That is yeah, this becomes x log 4 equals to log 40 times 64. Then next step we divide both sides by log 4. That is divide this side by log 4. Also divide this side by log 4. At this here we have log 4 cancelled each other. Then x equals to log 40 times 64 over log 4. Then, next step here. This follows the law of log n. When we have log a times b, this same thing as log a plus log b. That is, what we have becomes x equals to log. 40 plus log 64 over log 4. Then, next step here, we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 40 over log 4 plus log 64 over log 4. Then, yes, yeah, 64, same thing as 4 times 4 times 4, that's 4 cube. That is, here we have x equals to log 40 over log 4 plus log 4 cube over log 4. Then we apply the power law of logarithm here. 3 comes there. Then what we have becomes x equals to log 40 over log 4 plus 3 log 4 over log 4. Then here log 4 cancelled each other. We have 3 left here, which implies x equals to log. 40 over log 4 plus 3. Then, also, next step here, we can express 40 as 4 times 10, which implies this becomes x equals to log 4 times 10 over log 4 plus 3. Then, this follows the law of logarithm as well, and we have x equals to log 4 plus log 10 over log 4 plus 3. Then, we separate this into two fractions, and we have x equals to log 4 over log 4 plus log 10 over 
log 4 plus 3. That is, yeah, log 4 cancelled each other. We have 1 left, which implies x equals to 1 plus 3 plus log 10 over log 4. Then here we have 1 plus 3, that's 4. x equals to 4 plus log 10 over log 4. And next step here, 10 can be written as 2 times 5, which implies what we have becomes x equals to 4 plus log 2 times 5 over log 4. That is, this also follows the law of log ring. And we have x equals to 4 plus log 2 plus log 5 over log 4. Then we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to 4 plus log 2 over log 4 plus log 5 over log 4. And also here, 4 can be written as 2 times 2, that's 2 squared. And we have x equals to 4 plus log 2 over log 2 squared plus log 5 over log 2 squared. Then we apply the power of log ring here. 2 comes here and also here. And we have x equals to 4 plus log 2 over 2 log 2 plus log 5 over 2 log 2. Which implies, yeah, log 2 cancel each other. We have 1 over 2 here. And x equals to 4 plus 1 over 2 plus, yeah, we can express as 1 over 2 times log 5 over log 2. Then, from here, 4 plus 1 over 2, same thing as 4 number 1 over 2, which can be written as 9 over 2. Then what we have becomes x equals to 9 over 2 plus 1 over 2 times log 5 over log 2. Then here we apply change of base. When we have log A over log B, this is the same thing as log A to base B. That is here we have x equals to 9 over 2 plus 1 over 2 log 5 base 2. Then the value of x here we have, we can bring this as well together as 1 and we have x equals to, SCM is 2 and we have 2, then 9 plus log 5 base 2. That is here, we have x to be 9 plus log 5 is 2 all over 2. Then let's check here. If this satisfies this given problem, that is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 9 plus log 5 is 2 over 2. Then what we have here becomes 4 raised to power 9 plus log 5 base 2 over 2 minus 3. Is it equals to 40 on this side? Then here, we can bring this power together as one. This 3 over 1, and we have 4 raised to power. SCM here, that's 2. Here we still have 9 plus log 5 is 2 minus 6 now. Is it equals to 40 on this side? 
then here we have 9 minus 6 that's 3 then we have 4 raised to power 3 plus log 5 is 2 all over 2 is it equals to 40 on this side and also here we can express 4 as 2 square which is raised to power 3 plus log 5 is 2 all over 2 is it equals to 40 on this side then this power multiplies and 2 here cancel each other we have 2 raised to power 3 plus log 5 is 2 is it equals to 40 on this side that is yeah we apply a log in this is when we have a raised to power n plus n this is the same thing as a raised to power n then a raised to power n then this becomes 2 raised to power 3 then 2 raised to power log 5 base 2 is it equals to 40 on this side 2 raised to power 3 to multiply itself 3 times that's 8 times here follows on we have a raised to power log b to base a which is equals to b that is this is the same thing as 5 is it equals to 40 on this side then 8 times 5, that's 40, which is equals to 40 here. Then left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude that x equals to 9 plus log 5 base 2 all over 2 to satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos. And turn your inspiration bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, put your comment. See you next class. Bye for now.